Hi guys, this is DMNC. Welcome to our channel. Subscribe and don't forget to the bell icon. After working with Freddie Mercury for many years in Queen, Brian May was shaken after his death on November 24, 1991. Following Mercury's tragic passing, May fell into a pit of despair and he struggled to deal with his grief. In a recent episode of Queen the Greatest about Queen's album Made in Heaven, Brian May revealed that after Freddie's death, his healing process was really long and he didn't want to hear or say anything about Queen at that time. Moreover, it was even tough to deal with Freddie Mercury's voice. Brian May said, I think I kind of dragged my heels. I think I went through a very extended grieving process really. Because I kind of didn't want to talk about Queen, I went on my tour, solo tour, of course, and all that people wanted to talk about was Queen and Freddie's death and stuff. And I couldn't deal with it. I just said, look, let's just talk about what's happening now. So I had a bit of sort of denial stuff going on. I think I was reluctant to get back into opening those boxes and dealing with Freddie's voice there. And it was tough to begin with. Uh, and I think I was reluctant to get back into you know, opening those boxes and dealing with, with Freddie's voice there. And it was tough to begin with. Then Roger Taylor made the first inroads. He took some of the tapes to his studio and started working on them. Brian May stated, that's a trigger I need. Then Brian May took over some tracks and for him it was a monumental task. <laughs> 